Hi, YouTubies. How y'all doing, stinkies? I hope you're doing so well today. Um, surely by this point, if you're watching this re-upload, you will have seen my video on my main YouTube channel where I uh, discuss being in pain. I am currently in pain. <laughs> and so if my cadence sounds off, I apologize. You're probably going to be like, you sound the same as you always do, bestie. Uh, which may be the case, but I feel like I have to take weird breaths and things like that. And so here we are. Um, just a few programming notes, okay, before we get into today's reaction. One, uh, Mike is in the chat today and he did request that y'all send some positive energy vibes. If you pray, you can do that um, to Lisa. Although by the time this is uploaded, it may have already happened. I don't know exactly the time of day it's happening. But if you could send some positive vibes to Lisa, she's having surgery tomorrow. And I know y'all love Lisa from the Lisa's Halls as much as I do. Um, so send some good vibes her way. Anyways, we're going to watch Life by Vanessa, aka Lemonade Mom. I still want to know more. And maybe she said it in a video at some point and it was just a video I didn't watch. Um, but I would love to know why, why she changed her name to Life by Vanessa. I, I really don't know. Is that a new banner? Um, oh, oh, Megan, I, that second part of your, that second part of that, the, what you said in the chat, dark sided to the pit, go to the pit. Wait, I thought her name is Samantha. No, this woman's name is Vanessa. It's literally her channel name. I can't make up a silly goofy name for Vanessa when it's literally in her channel name. <laughs> Vanessa, you could call her Vanessa. If, oh my God, not me dropping my phone and having ooh, to bend over when I'm in pain. Not this, not this. Um, Vanessa, Vanessa. It's old Vanessa. Um, I I do always find it also fascinating that she enjoy. She's always saying enjoy the little things. When like if you've ever watched a Vanessa video, she is never just enjoying the little things. She's She loves to buy everything, anything, whoever, whatever. But anyways, the reason I wanted to come back to Vanessa is because she's recently, in the past couple weeks, posted three different, like, recipe videos, which is fascinating because for a while it seemed like she had shifted her channel to just hauls. Grocery hauls, Timu hauls. Dollar Tree hauls, Target hauls, and, um, see, if you can bend over and pick that phone up, you can go to a trainer. Mike! That's so mean! Uh, somebody had to pick it up! I'm, I'm home, well, I, somebody was like, Amber Lynn should stop saying she's home alone so much, but I'm home alone right now! If I didn't pick it up, who was gonna pick it up? Mike over here tell me I need to get my get my ass to the gym. Okay. Heard. Noted. <laughs> Noted. Um, so anyways, uh one of my true loves from Vanessa's um content is when she would post crock pot recipes, instant pot recipes. Some of her instant pot recipes were truly so um diluted. And so I think that's where we're going to start because six hours ago she posted a video called Easy Instant Pot Dinners. So I think we'll start there. We'll see where time takes us. Uh, I am starting up the Gay Fortnite League again tonight. So um, after, after this stream, I have like an hour in between the end of this stream. Well, if I end on time, I have an hour between that and... Um, and starting the, the Fortnite League tonight. So I got a lot to do in between those things. Love, do you love, love my <clears throat> cream all wheat, wheat. Loving the stream, bestie. Puffin Time, thanks so much for subscribing with Prime. I appreciate that. Do you have to be gay for the Fortnite League? Not necessarily, uh, but I, I've explained like the same reason that I'm in like a gay volleyball league and a gay softball league is that they, they create the leagues... Um, for gay people in mind because uh, specifically like sports are often a place where like gay people have not felt safe in the past and so like to get to play with a bunch of other gay people 
uh it it like takes away that barrier so that you can just enjoy playing the game and similarly if you're like in the gaming atmosphere environment uh if you've ever done online gaming sometimes it can't be the best place for gay people either and so uh, the league was created uh, in mind of, like, getting to meet other gay people who enjoy a video game that you like without the worry or burden of, like, people coming for you because you're gay. <clears throat> Moist Receipt. Thanks for subscribing at Tier 1. And uh, Lizzie, thanks for those bits. I don't know why it love, love, love hasn't popped up yet. Wee, wee. I want to play with other gay people. Exactly. That's that's the goal. So we're gonna we're gonna watch these easy instant pot dinners. Um, that's Today what, I am. Oh oh oh! Calm down, Vanessa. <laughs> Chill out, Vanessa. <laughs> uh, gaming community can be so brutal in the chat. Absolutely, absolutely. So. Um, it's, it's a great way to just not have to worry about that specifically, you know, you feel me? Uh, but there are some straight people, uh, at least last season I met at least one, one straight person in it. So, um, if you're ready to get today's reaction started, besties, can you put, can you put some 69s in the chat? I would really appreciate it. It would mean the world to me. So I know everybody's ready to get started we really do have the best uh usernames in this community every time we raid into to another channel people are always like what are these usernames like what the fuck <laughs> so uh thanks for thanks for being y'all thanks for being y'all you know you feel me <sighs> i'm really hoping after after like maybe one more night of sleep, I will will feel better. I'm hoping. I'm crossing my fingers, cause I'm struggling, y'all. You guys are the best audience on all of Twitch. Absolutely, much better than Willow Davis's audience, even though a lot of you are in his too. Half burnt corn. Thanks for gifting us up to Killbot three two four. Appreciate it. Appreciate it so much. Get some more ibuprofen. Yeah, I, I need to go take some after this stream. I actually haven't taken any at all today, which is kind of silly on my part, if we're being honest. Um, if we're being honest. Okay, well, let's let's get to, let's get to, because there's going to be somebody in the comments on the, on the YouTube upload channel, re-upload channel, that's like, Zach, it's 10 minutes into the video and you haven't even started. So... So let's let's get into it. Uh, I hurried and made my account literally when the stream started, and there's a moist receipt on my counter. It's the best I could do, y'all. I love it. That's so inspired. Oh my gosh, it kind of makes me think. I told you all earlier before we started recording for YouTube that I I participated in this like research for um for this person doing their PhD. And you get to pick a pseudonym so that anytime that, like, she refers to me when she's writing, that she'll call me whatever I ask to be called. That's not my real name. And I guess I'm giving up that anonymity right now when I tell you that I didn't know what to tell her. And so I just said, Josh. <laughs> I said, call me Josh. <laughs> I could have been called anything. And I said, call me Josh. <laughs> Here we are. Okay. <laughs> are they doing predictions over on the YouTube how long it takes you to start the reaction? <laughs> they probably should for fun. They probably should for fun because I still haven't started. All right. Let's get to, let's get to. Come on, Vanessa. Today I am sharing two dinners that I made using my Instant Pot. It's been a while since I've shared one of these videos. I know. Uh, but I know a lot of you guys You're are in love with Josh. your Instant Pots. Or well, that's the thing is that in my life, so many people have just called me Josh for no good reason. Like, many, many, many times. And I'm like, could you please not? <laughs> could you please not? Um, and so it just felt right. Pressure cookers if you have a different brand. So I figured I would go ahead and film two dinners to share with you guys. So we're going to get right sounds, into them. 
We you have- know, you, I think I've said this before about her, but you know how there's that one person, actually, they haven't been on the Twitter in a long time, or at least if they have, I haven't seen them. Maybe I muted them or something. But that one girly who always says that I sound congested like I need to blow my nose or something, Vanessa gives that energy. Vanessa gives that in like I sound she sounds like she needs a good nose blow in you know we are going to blah, 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 start blah, blah, our blah, instant blah. pot rest P.U. P.U. thanks so much Mona for resubscribing appreciate it please in this video with like the easiest dump and go quick cooking time it does have to come to pressure so just keep that in mind okay. I'll kind of try to time it how long it takes to come to pressure before the cook time but we're gonna start with one cup of liquid which is needed for pretty much every single recipe anything you're cooking in the instant pot just so you don't get that burn notice okay. and so you're not messing up the bottom of your pot so I'm opting I've... to use one cup of chicken broth for the flavor I want the easy wrap for the flavor how much you want to bet that's the only flavor though I I anticipate zero C Seasoning. Should we do a prediction on if she uses any seasoning in this first recipe? That could be fun. <laughs> will she will she put any? Should we do that? Should we do that? Start a prediction. Will this first recipe have seasoning besides? Well, I, I can't fit that all in the question. So just besides the chicken broth, okay? Yes or no? I'm only gonna give you a minute to participate though, okay? Because we're we're short on time. So you got one minute to decide. Do you think do you think she'll use seasoning outside of the 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 chicken broth? Cause chicken yes, salt and pepper count. Yes. Does a se ranch seasoning packet count? Now, Ray of Sunshine, I just want you to 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 reread what you wrote. Ranch seasoning packet. And the question was, will this first recipe have seasoning? <laughs> just, just just think about it just think about the question you asked that's all that's all i'm asking okay but rant is ranch seasoning a seasoning again i ask you to reread i ask you to reread what you just said and and maybe notice that there was a word that you used more than once I'm just, I'm just asking you to be, to use some critical thinking. If it's not a seasoning, then what is it, Bessie? And that's my point! It's literally called ranch seasoning. If it's not a seasoning, then what would you call it? <laughs> what would you call it? Ugh. <sighs> Willow just revealed that he's a fake fan. He only has 10,000 points. Oh my God. Don't pull a muscle on the other side, Bessie. I, it's, I'm, I'm going to be fine. Oh, I just burped a little bit though. And it hurts so much. I'm falling apart. I'm falling apart. Whew. Uh, this is giving parent teaching math at the dinner table vibes. Oh, thank God I don't have kids. I, I cannot imagine. I would probably lose it with my children. And that's why I can't be a parent. Because I know that about myself. I know that the patience I would have for my child not understanding 2 plus 2 equals 4 would be, would be inappropriate. See, I could do that. I could do that as a teacher. But with my own kids, I couldn't do it. I couldn't. All right, mushrooms are going in. Out and I bought an eight ounce container of already trimmed sliced mushrooms, um, but just about eight ounces of sliced mushrooms. Blah, blah, blah. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the package. So this is the- Is mayonnaise an instrument? Is mayonnaise an instrument? Thanks for the bits, bestie, appreciate it. 
the anjouy sausage that i picked okay. up just 12 13 ounce package any Work. kind of smoked sausage it's a, it's a pre-cooked sausage love a smoked sausage so it doesn't take long to heat up there's no like major cooking involved so i, I just i would i would expect nothing less from you vanessi <laughs> expect nothing less than you for little cooking involved i will say my mom always made uh this smoked sausage recipe that was like, it was literally just like smoked sausage, green beans, and potatoes. And I loved it. I loved it. Smoked sausage has seasoning in it. That doesn't count as a seasoning. If, what, what, no. No, that's not how this works. Sliced all the links in this package into little bite-sized pieces. Next up, I had a bag. Yes, let's go green beans. Of green beans, like fresh green beans. So I trim them and I oh, cut girl. the majority. Girl, you keep, you keep, you're not even getting them into the instant pot. They're falling out the side, girl. Pay attention to what you're doing. Of them in half just to make them smaller, more bite-sized for everybody. And last, a food item that I needed to chop Oh, less up. food item. That means there could be seasoning. That means there could be some seasoning. Those green beans and mushrooms are going to have a lovely texture. I know. I'm, I am thinking a little bit like potatoes and green beans probably cook at a different rate than the, uh, than the mushroom, don't you think? I would think so. And probably also at a different rate than the sausage. But I think I've seen her do a similar recipe where she's put all of this on like a sheet pan and just tossed it into the the oven. So I'm just going to trust her and let her cook. Was a one and a half pound bag of baby red potatoes. I did rinse them um, and then I left the skin on though because I prefer that. We love And then skin. I just quartered them up to make them more bite size. Now for some seasoning. Oh! I'm going to do like a hefty teaspoon a of salt. A hefty and teaspoon then of salt. half a teaspoon of pepper. And we're going to spice Ooh, it up a little bit. Ooh, some Cajun so seasoning. Cajun seasoning by McCormick. And I'm going to put in a total of four teaspoons. Y'all that said no played yourself. Y'all said no. You played yourself. She did, in fact, she did, in fact, um, add some additional seasonings. Which I honestly wouldn't have been surprised if she just left it at the, if she just left it at the chicken broth. That would be, I think, a very Vanessa move. But she didn't she didn't do it and also the way that she talked about it it made it sound like she was she was only going to put it in there i will say that to your credit if you voted no because she did say i'm putting this in here for the flavor mike says it's not a dump without seasoning you prefer your dumps to be seasoned when when i take a big old dump i hope that it's seasoned too I can't laugh. It hurts. It hurts. Okay, I'm going to stir this up the best I can just to get the seasonings down in there. Uh -huh. I have a tongue so it's been easier <laughs> to mix it, it up. It probably would have been. Go. Now I'm getting it. This, you are correct. This utensil you're using seems ineffective. I also feel like it would have made more sense to maybe... Well, I don't know. I was thinking maybe it might make more sense to just put... The seasoning in with the chicken broth as well but maybe not maybe not the spoon looked one too big and two too flimsy did you see how it was bending is she gonna put a liquid in here she put the the cup of chicken broth she put the cup of chicken broth in there and last thing going in is i have four tablespoons of butter that yes let's fucking go eat your heart out darling slices Actually, uh, just there's little slices so you can put them. There's far too many vegetables in here for Darlene. All around the top. So I'm going to get my lid on. And then I'm going to make sure my vent is sealing, Let's not go. venting. Or not my, my little can not, I, not. Can I, can I, can I be vulnerable? Can I be vulnerable with you all? Every time I use the Instant Pot that we have, which is mostly just when we make rice these days. That's pretty much all I use it for. I always forget to do this part. <laughs> I always forget to to turn it so that it's not venting. It's 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 really a character flaw for me, if, I, if I'm being honest. 
a character flaw. I really, it's just, it's just a problem. You're always vulnerable and breedable. Willa Davis, I gotta keep going. Top here is set to ceiling, not venting. All right, so as far as hi, Judy, pressure cookers, instant pots, you whatever you have, I have the IP Duo. Oh, no, she I doesn't. I believe <laughs> they have several new ones now. She like, sure I've had this it. one for years. So mine does have a manual button. I get this all the time on a lot of my past instant pot videos. Uh -huh. Mine doesn't have a manual button. What do I do? All the manual button does is puts it on high pressure. So you don't need a manual button, just whatever button. Like if I didn't have a manual, I would push pressure and I would put it on high pressure. So it just turned on. That means it is coming to pressure. Do people not understand? Like, do they really need, I guess so. I was gonna say, do they really need her video tutorial on how to use their instant, like they fully purchased an instant pot and can't figure out what to, what buttons to push without her help? But then I think about it, and we did just watch, we did just watch Amberlynn struggle to put that damn lamp together. And you know what? People probably do. People, people probably do need the help. So thank you. Thank you for your service, Vanessa. We salute you for your service. I don't know if you guys saw that. I had to turn the, my dog was barking. I had to turn the camera off, um, but I had it on four minutes. That's all this is going to take. However, that's the cook Four time. minutes. So it's on. It's only going to take four. That really is an easy recipe. Four minutes and all those veggies are going to be cooked the way you want them to. That's amazing. The Instant Pot is kind of a wizard in that way. She did just say a bunch of people asked her in the comments. I know. That's what I was questioning, though. That's the part I was questioning. I'm like, y'all really need Vanessa, of all people, to tell you how to use your Instant Pot? That's what I was saying. I, was, I wasn't questioning her telling them because, obviously, people have asked. I'm just like, why do y'all need that? <laughs> why do you all need that? Not, oh, my God. And see, this is why I should just sh shut my mouth. <laughs> I should just shut my mouth and watch the video because now a is in here saying, okay, mister keeps the vent on. And you know what? You're right. So let me shut the up and let, let me just let the, the teacher do her job. And it's going to come to pressure, which normally, depending on what you're cooking, Ooh, I'm gonna takes come to between pressure, 10 and you know 20 minutes. Saying. Uh, basically, it's how full your pot is for the most part. Ooh. Mine was pretty full, so I bet it's going to be closer to 20 minutes. And then the cook time is going to turn on, and it's going to cook for four minutes. Oh, so I'm gonna I do forget that. You, you, you do get a little tricked in thinking it's so quick because you're like, oh, I only have to cook it for four minutes. But I do frequently forget that you have to wait for it to come to pressure, which takes time. It takes time to come to pressure, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and let's see, it is 641 right now. So I will tell you what time it is when it actually Zachary turns Marie. on. What is wrong? She's the one that talked about coming to pressure. Why are you getting mad at me? This is not, this is not my, not my problem. Not my problem. I'm just responding to the words she, she used in her video and it starts that cook time all right my timer just went off the it came to pressure and the four minute timer and started she keep, right around. and she keeps talking about it coming to pressure okay around seven o'clock so it was just under that 20 minute mark which i figured it would be closer to 20 minutes since my pot is so full so now that it is done cooking your instant pot will automatically go to low mode where okay. it's just keeping it warm so it's no longer cooking it but it's keeping it warm. However, I am going to do what's called a quick release. You yes. can leave it on warm. I, oh, oh, besties, I love a quick release. Who's got the time? Who's got the time? We love a, a quick release. I'm such a child. I'm such a child. And let the pressure release naturally. That's if you have something in here that you still want to cook a little bit, just not at that higher temperature or pressure. But like I said, mine is pretty much we done. Just, so I'm going to go ahead done. and release the We're pressure. releasing it. That took almost a good two minutes. Would you look at that? To Would you look at that? Let the pressure out so I could open up the top. But okay. Mark, my husband, walked in. He's like, oh, well, it smells good. <laughs> love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Oh, it's not going to let you, it's not going to say C-U-M out loud, but come to pressure for a quick release. Absolutely.
Poe, do you want to say hi? I'll let you up sit. You can come up to say hi to the to the to the YouTubies, to the Twitchies. I love you. No, no open mouth kisses. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, Ow. Ugh. His, his, his paw got stuck in my hair. <laughs> Look at us. Aren't we so cute? Aren't we so cute? Oh, my precious baby. My precious angel child baby. I love you. Okay, I gotta I gotta keep working. Working nine to five. What a way to make a living. Barely get in by Okay, so anyways. <laughs> This recipe seems fine. I would do without the mushrooms, and then it's essentially a meal that my mom made when I grew up, so. So, uh, I've never made this, I mean, I've made something similar to this, but not with the Cajun seasoning and not with mushrooms. We're not, the rest of the family mushrooms are isn't so huge gross. on mushrooms. But mushrooms I are we would nasty. Add them in this time. All, all the slander in the world, mushrooms are gross. And y'all that like mushrooms are disgusting. <laughs> No, I'm joking. If you want to eat the mushroom, eat the mushroom. But, uh, full disrespect, I hate mushrooms. Okay, that's what you need to know. That's what you need to know. So, everything looks good, smells good. There's still a little bit of liquid in there, which is what I like. Yeah, so what do you do with that liquid? Burn message or anything like that. What do you... And all we're going to do, this what, is, like I said, Also, what's a people. burn message? What do you mean so you don't have to deal with a burn message? What does that mean? And what do you do with that liquid now? She said, she said burn message. Burn message or anything like that. Oh, like a burn mess. Like a, a burning to, like, she just randomly put edge after the word mess is what you're telling me. Okay. All right. I guess I get it. I guess I understand. And all we're going to do, this is, like I said, easy peasy. All in one. Easy I'm just going to spoon this out into bowls. Squeezy. I do have some dinner rolls in the oven, and that's it for this recipe. Wow. So, so really easy. easy Cajun sausage, green beans, and potatoes in the Instant Pot. Getting tonight's dinner started. A message from Burn on the... Oh, like the, the Instant Pot will deliver a message that says Burn. It's not... It's not about... It's not about... A mess on the bottom of the pot it's literally a, it's a literal message that says burn today is not my day all all respect to vanessa for me being an idiot <laughs> for me misunderstanding her that's that's my dumbass fault that's not on vanessa i'm just a moron i'm just stupid I'm just stupid and I'm in pain. <laughs> started utilizing the Instant Pot. I'm actually going to use this as a stove top as well. I need to. Do you think Chantal could make her Chef Boyardee in the Instant Pot? You know what? I haven't watched any of her tragic ass cooking videos. I have no, um, no desire to but also kind of a desire to maybe that's what i'll do tomorrow maybe i'll react to one of those those cooking videos tomorrow it's a, a little soon for a check-in with foodie booty but i am intrigued i saw a picture of the the fucking um chicken that she cooked and then shit looked raw when she was done with it so i don't know we'll see we'll see brown up some onions and ground beef making this like an all-in-one dinner instead of utilizing different pans having more dishes what is all she the making? things so uh, my instant pot has a saute function or button so i'm going to hit that okay. i'm going to let it come to temperature heat up for a good what, three it, to four first it was coming to pressure now it's coming to temperature here we are <laughs> here we are four minutes and then we'll start our cooking my pot should be nice and heated up i'm okay. adding in one Ooh, tablespoon come on, of butter sizzle. and i'm just going to try to coat the whole bottom of the pot with this i diced up one medium onion adding that into my pot and i'm okay. going to saute the onion until they're nice 
and golden brown about five, well, Let's four go. to five minutes. My onions are looking good. Let's go. Yeah, I'm taking now, wait. I maybe maybe I'm missing. She said she was gonna do something else in here, right? Cause I'm like, I guess if she's gonna add stuff to this and like actually pressurize it later, but I'm like, also you could. I guess it makes sense. Never mind. Let me shut up. I'm still being a dumb, dumb, idiot, stupid person who doesn't understand Instant Pots. So let me just keep going. Taking the easy route, and I have this already minced garlic in like a little refrigerator tub. Of so course. I'm gonna add in. I'm going to do four teaspoons. Okay. And I'm just going to mix that in. Okay. And let it cook for about 30 seconds. I've got a pound of ground beef okay. in here. And then I know I have onion and garlic in there, but I'm just going to sprinkle a of little course. onion powder. Of course. And garlic powder. And garlic powder. Did she just say refrigerator tub instead of jar? I don't know. Did she? When it came to the, the minced garlic? I have this already minced garlic in like a little refrigerator tub. <laughs> she she sure did call it a, a refrigerator tub. <laughs> she surely did call it a refrigerator tub. That's fancy. I've never, I would have never thought to call it that. I love it. How, how quirky. <laughs> how unique. And powder. Because it's plastic? I would still call that a jar, even if it was plastic, you know? And garlic powder on top. Because, like, can... if it was glass, there's a modifier. You can call it a glass jar. You can call it a plastic jar. Nice and flavorful. All right, and I'm just going to get my ground beef nice and cooked up. I also love that, like, garlic and onion powder makes it nice and flavorful love that too brown so that should take about five six minutes maybe my ground beef is all cooked Work. i'm gonna turn my instant pot off and Are, i am curious if we're gonna drain the the grease i'm curious about that too honestly truly like if not, I feel like, especially because it's beef, like, I think if you were doing, like, a leaner meat, like a ground chicken or a ground turkey, it probably wouldn't, it wouldn't be a big issue. But beef usually has a lot of grease that, that comes off of it when you cook it. So, I'm curious about that. And I'm going to add in two and a half cups of chicken broth. Oh, <laughs> yep. Yeah, she said, the grease... The grease is staying, besties. All that grease is staying. <laughs> We're going to get the beef squirts. Now it's not so loud. <laughs> you guys hear me better? All right, I can. so it was two and a half cups of chicken broth. That's for the flavor. I'm just going to make sure I'm scraping the bottom to get all the yummy bits okay. off. Okay. What, what, and, and what are the yummy bits in question? Are the yummy bits in the room with us right now, Vanessa? Mixed in. Okay, now we're going to add... Like, you can see the grease on top of this right now. That's just like fully a layer of grease on top of this on top of this whatever it is just fully grease some seasonings i'm doing almost a teaspoon of what i like to say is w sauce yes, just of so course. you know nobody's trying to correct me <laughs> so that's just w sauce i am curious that she calls that a seasoning is would you all consider w sauce a seasoning kids get in here why are you borking? What's the issue? Why do we have to do this every day when I'm streaming? Yes, like a, a George W. Sauce Bush. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a seasoning. I'd call it a sauce for sure. You say how you want or call it how Mike, you want. Mike, Mike, have we discussed while, since you've been watching, have we discussed how you like to put W sauce on Cheez-Its? Have we discussed that part of your lore? How did you decide to do that one day? I did try it. It's not bad. I tried it on a stream, like, probably a couple years ago at this point. But is that, how did you come across that as a concept? What is W sauce? W sauce is Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. I I also can't say it, so I don't have any shame and um shame in calling it uh 
W Sauce either, but, you know, I would just like to know more about that lore, Mike, if you could, could answer that in the chat, I would appreciate it. Like cereal and milk? No, I think he just splashed it on. I don't know, I shouldn't probably make this hand gesture, but I've already made, uh, ooh. <laughs> Even burping hurts and I just drank this whole diet soda. But, uh, I think, I think I, they talked about it in a video. I don't know. Mike hasn't answered yet and we need to keep it moving, but I'm just curious. Bestie, I'm worried about you. I'm worried about me. Don't, don't also get Noel started. Noel is always concerned when I'm not feeling good. The thing is, is like, if I went to the doctor about this, I really think they would just tell me I need to rest. Um, so I, that, I'm like, I don't want to spend a whole and that's even if I can get in immediately right oh it's so good I have no idea where I figured it out but even at work I'll add about anything to my food came as a kid we always like to make things moist <laughs> Mike I didn't like that last like those last two sentences of that message that made me uh uh I can't, I can't laugh. I can't, I can't laugh. It literally hurts so much. Moisty, meaty, cocaine, Mike. The lore is going too deep. Uh, Maya, what do you know about going too deep? All right, we got to see where the rest of this recipe takes us. And then I got to log off. I got to log off. I'm not meant to be on the internet today. Two. One teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Oh, okay. One teaspoon of ketchup. Okay. So I've made like homemade hamburger helper before. Not the There's homemade hamburger. Is that what this is? Homemade hamburger helper? I'm going to use the broth in here to. Oh my God. Every time, kids. Come here and stop, please. I got to get through Vanessa's. I got to get through her video and I can't do that if you bark every two seconds. We're going to close the door. You're going to you're gonna stay in here with me. You're going to stay in here with me. See, and this would be when everybody would be like, oh, Poe really doesn't like what's happening on the screen. Well, Poe never knows what's happening on the screen if we're being honest, but like, he for sure doesn't now when he's all the way down the hallway barking. Get all the little bits stuck to that in there. Um, I've used different recipes. Is, this is, is a new Is one teaspoon of mustard and ketchup enough? I don't think that makes it. Girl, you know what? I don't know. You, you know I don't know. I don't know. It feels like maybe not. I guess you have a point. Okay, I did choose that word carefully, but if you know me, you will know I always dip everything in some sort of sauce. We know! We know, Moist Mike. You like to make things moist. We got it. I got the picture. I can't stop thinking about it. Combination, so I will have the recipe that I'm following linked in the description box. I did change it up a little bit. I always do that. I kind of, we know what we like for the most part. So I changed up a few things, add a few things, but the main recipe is linked in the description okay, box. Okay, work. Like one thing is they suggest or they use seasoning salt and salt and pepper. Uh-huh. I'm not going to do that. I don't even have seasoning salt. I have a whole bunch of seasoning. What is this? And salt and pepper, what is this seasoning? But not a seasoning salt. So what I'm doing is I kind of just sprinkled a little bit of this Trader Joe's 21 seasoning salute on top. Okay. And then I'll do a pretty good pinch of pepper. Okay. And then maybe like two pinches of salt. Those are I do I do feel like she uses the smallest amounts of all of these flavors. They're pretty small. You can always add a little salt and pepper after the fact though, That's you know, true. so everybody That's can kind of season it to their taste. All right, so I'm just mixing all those seasonings in. And then I have a bag, what is this? 16 ounces of elbow macaroni okay. that I don't want. So we're making hamburger helpers. So you're telling me I'm gonna watch this and then I'm gonna watch um, Chef Chantal Marie Foodie Booty make, <laughs> make some hamburger helper tomorrow or whatever it is. Great, great, good, 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 good. To use the whole bag. So I'm gonna put in 
about a cup and a half. That, that this is a three quarter. Oh, I mean, cup. wait, if that's a three quarter cup, oh, two, two of those would be a cup and a half. Again, I'm a dumbass. I'm a dumbass today. The brain is not working. I really did not think she was doing that math right. Ooh. About a cup and a half of the pasta. Last little mix to get the pasta all in there. How you and feeling? Then the not main great. Thing when you're cooking not great. dry noodles not great. in your Instant Pot is to make sure that they are submerged. Otherwise, mm. they're not going to cook correctly. Sub submerged gonna... like that, um, that, what, that submersible that was looking for the Titanic. I'll get a little crispy. That looks not know? the best. So. You got to wait. To be fair, I feel like with Instant Pot recipes, you do have to wait to see the finished product because this does look sussy. But you never know. You never know what Just the final sure product will look like. make sure they are completely like. submerged under the liquid that you have in your pot. So we do have a couple more ingredients, but those are going to be added in after the fact. So we're going to go ahead Let's and get go. our lid on. Get it on. You guys can see it. Let's Let me move you a little bit. Make sure it is sealing, not venting. I am that worried about the grease. Properly. All right, and then same thing that I said in the previous recipe. You guys should have seen that already in this video because I'm did. putting them together. Yeah, but it's almost it's almost made... like it's almost like you could have not said all of that because you could have just edited that part out because you knew that the other part was in this video. Button, you're just getting your pressure to high. So if you have a pressure button, get that. You just want it on high pressure, and this one takes the same amount of time. As wow. the last dinner four minutes. that we made, it only takes four minutes. Now, but you had to wait to, four minutes for it to get has to not pressure. started yet. That is just saying that, hey, the pot is on. It's going to start coming to pressure. It is going to take anywhere from 10 to 20 Stunning. minutes to come to pressure. And then that okay. four minute timer. I don't need to hear you say all of that again. I just need to see the final product. Like, she really does talk a lot. <laughs> I thought it was going to take close to 10 minutes. And it was maybe seven or eight minutes for it okay. to come to pressure. And Work. then the four minute cook time. So now I'm going to release the pressure. Release the wiggle. Release. That took a good minute and a half. Just gonna... Is she making commission? Oh, is she making commission on what? I don't think so. I don't think she's selling the Instapot. This, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is why you have to wait and see the final product. Because this still looks very sussy. This, this still love, looks love, very love sussy. My um, Steph always sims. Thanks so much for three months of Prime. Appreciate it. Let's stir this up. Make sure nothing. Is she going to add cheese to this? Surely she's going to add cheese. I think cheese would help this look better. Stuck to the bottom. I am adding in half a cup of sour cream. Oh, okay. Cottage cheese, maybe? It's nice and hot. And lastly, I'm adding in this See, full that's bag. What I was... It's just one of the smaller ones. See, Eight that's ounce, what I was waiting two for. Two cups of sharp cheddar cheese. It doesn't look super appetizing in the bowl. Ah! <laughs> I always love when these girlies call themselves out. I just made something that doesn't look super appetizing. <laughs> so to finish this off, I checked in my refrigerator and I found some parsley. <laughs> A little green always helps. And that'll be good with this since it's more of like... You can put parsley on dog shit and it doesn't necessarily mean that it looks or tastes good. Bestie. <laughs> I could put parsley on one of Poe's shits he's about to take after this stream is over. That doesn't mean it looks appetizing. An Italian feel, um, but I had a little bite. Tastes just like hamburger. Wait, did she just say that the parsley gives it an Italian feel? Let me go back. Let me go back. My refrigerator and I found some parsley. <laughs> a little green always helps. And that'll be good with this since it's more of like an Italian feel. Bestie, some noodles and some ground beef Italian does not make, okay? <laughs> Please be serious. Please be serious. I I need to know where the, the Italian's at, okay? Please. And even what flavors, you know? there You could have put any kind of, like, Italian seasonings into this, and you didn't. It literally is it's just macaroni and cheese with some ground beef in it. Um, but I had a little bite. Tastes just like hamburger helper. So uh, I feel oh, like this good. will definitely be good. a keeper and wasn't super hard. So another mm. nice, easy dinner in the... I'm, I'm also not super hard after, after watching this video.
Oh, that was not, that was, that was unnecessary. That comment was not necessary. I did not need to say that. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> Mike thinks that making hamburger helper would probably be easier. Sometimes I think that's the case. But at least in this situation, you know all the ingredients you're putting in there, right? Like, who knows what processed stuff I guess you're getting from the hamburger helper in the box. The Instant Pot. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed those two recipes. Let me know if you make them, what you think. We enjoyed both be. of them. Give this video a big thumbs be. up if you like utilizing your pressure cooker or finding new recipes to try. Subscribe if you are new. I'm good. All right. Bye, Vanessa. <laughs> bye, Vanessa, girl. All right. YouTubies. Here's my streaming schedule for the week. I do post this on my community tab in case you're trying to um, check out what we're doing over here live. If you ever want to come and join us, I'd be happy to help you or have you. That's the word I was looking for. Um, and if you haven't checked out my main YouTube channel, oh my God, she's so small. Let's make her bigger so you can see everything. Um, make sure to check that out as well. I'm getting ready to, once I stop streaming here, I'm going to publish a new video for that. So, um, come hang out. I love you, YouTubies. Subscribe. Bye.